iPhone SE iOS 10.2 versus Samsung Galaxy S5 6.0.1 coming right up. Let's go. So what is up guys? This is Nick here from Everything Tech and welcome to this iPhone SE iOS 10.2 versus Samsung Galaxy S5 Android version 6.0.1 Marshmallow. Let's go ahead and boot these guys up at the same time in three, two, one. And the reason why I'm doing this comparison is I wanna see as these phones get updated, how they perform. So the SE is on the latest version of iOS 10.2 and the S5 is now on like 6.0.1, but it did have some bug fixes and security patches throughout these past couple of months but there was no, uh, how would you say, visual changes to the S5. So yes, the S5 does get slight updates here and there still. I'm not sure if we'll see Nougat here on the S5, but I wanna see how it's performing to this day here in 2017. So you see in the SE was quicker to the home screen, but only slightly here. Now let me go ahead and show you that the applications are closed out, and we're gonna go ahead and try this application test on both devices. You can see right there, everything closed there, everything closed there on the S5. But before that, I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and confirm the software. So let's confirm the software here on the iPhone SE. Let's go into settings here and show you that we are rocking out with iOS version 10.2 here for the iPhone SE. You can see 10.2 14C92 here for the iPhone SE. Over here on the Samsung Galaxy S5, I do have, I believe it is Marshmallow 6.0.1, maybe 6.0.2. Let's see what I have here on this device. So about device, and let that load up really quickly. Let's go on to status here. Is it status? No, nope, maybe it's down here. Software version, Android version 6.0.1 here for the Samsung Galaxy S5. So let's go home here and see how the speed is on both of these devices. I do have similar applications lined up here on both. And we're gonna begin with the calculator. One more time just to show you that everything's closed. One more time, settings was open. You see, that's why I double checked there. Let's go into calendar on both. And the SE coming out like a rocket. Let's go back home here. S5 back to the home screen, slightly back to the home screen, but I'd rather have faster app opening, honestly. Let's go into calculator here. SE slightly ahead there on the calculator. Let's go home here, and let's go into the clock on both devices. And you can see the SE once again. So the SE is a very fast phone. And I think I did this test before where the S5 was close to the SE, but it seems like it's slowed down since I've, since I've been using it and I've loaded it up with apps. Let's go on the phone here. And you can see the SE once again ahead. So the SE has just won in every test so far. Let's go into settings. And you can see SE once again slightly, maybe milliseconds, but still ahead. Let's go into Instagram. Now we get into third party applications. Let's see what happens here. SE ahead once again. And now the S5. Well, the S5 was there, but SE was slightly ahead again. Let's go into camera on both devices. And you can see the, oh my goodness, that was ridiculous. The SE just destroyed the S5 on the camera. So very fast stuff for the SE. Let's go into App Store versus Play Store and see what happens there. App Store, app, looked like the Play Store had it, but no, nah, the App Store just took it. So SE again. So, so far, the SE is just out here kicking some ass. Open a can of whoop ass on the S5 right now. Let's go into YouTube on both devices. And you can see... The S5 was there quicker, but now the SE has loaded things up quicker. So S5, a little bit lagging there on the YouTube. So let's go here in play newsstand on both and see what happens here. And it looks like the SE again. So, I mean, there's not much more to say here. The SE is quick. Let's go into the next application. It's going to be play music. All right, so let's hop into the play newsstand on both or music here. Let's go into play music here. SE once again. Let's come back home here. Let's go into eBay. But you can see, even though the SE is beating the S5, the S5 still has respectable performance performance here for the year of 2017. So you might be better off buying an old flagship versus buying a new budget phone. But we are going to compare the S5 to the LG X Power as well. So stay tuned for that. That's coming up here soon on the channel. Let's go into Amazon here on both and see what happens for Amazon on both devices. So the SE took that one too. So I mean, we could run these all day. I think the SE is just running circles around the S5 right now, which I kind of expected, but I think the performance on the SE got better on iOS 10.2 here, to be honest. But um, let's go to Yahoo on both devices here and see what happens on both. And let's go. Yeah, the SE once again. 
So like I said, we could do tests all day. The SC is definitely the faster phone here. And if you look on eBay, for example, if you're gonna go ahead and buy an iPhone SE, you can now find these guys for about 250 bucks. Yeah, they might be refurbed, but you can see 299 right there. And if you kind of just look through 239 right there for an SE, so if you kind of just look, you will find the SE at pretty low prices here. Now the Samsung Galaxy S5 is going to run you around 180, 200, so it's pretty close. I would spend the extra $50 and get the blazing fast SE over the Samsung Galaxy S5 to be honest with you guys here. Now let's go ahead and do some multitasking to see how they perform in the multitasking department. Let's go into eBay. You can see SE, just a blazing fast, highly optimized device. It's going to last much longer into the future in terms of updates and speed. Now, both devices are very reliable, though. They're both going to get the job done. They're not going to leave you hanging in terms of being able to run all the latest apps. They can both do that. But in terms of just breakneck speed, you're going to get it here on the SE. The SE is like a Ferrari, whereas the Samsung Galaxy S5 is like a Mustang. So it's pretty fast. So let's go into instagram right here on both and you could see let's go over here and let's go into let me see settings on both devices and bang so yeah se taking it to school on the multitasking department so yeah anyways that's pretty much gonna wrap this speed test up of the iphone se versus the samsung galaxy s5 this was done with the intention to show you how these devices are performing here in 2017 if you were in the market to pick up maybe an se or an s5 both are in a similar price bracket and i don't care if some of people are going to think like oh this is not even fair that phone is so old if it's in the same price point it might be in somebody's mind that they might want to get an older samsung or the newer cheap iphone so that's why these videos were created anyway this was nick here helping you to master your technology if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and click the like button for me which phone of these two is your preferred option or would you rather have a samsung over an apple phone let me know that down below in the comment section subscribe for more i will catch you all in the next one be sure to be well and peace